fam, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Afternoon, the Memphis Police Department responded to a person shot at 2370 Airways Boulevard. Our preliminary investigation reveals the victim is Adolph Robert Thornton Jr. This shooting is another example of the senseless gun violence that we have seen far too often locally and nationwide. Too many families, too many mothers, too many fathers have suffered in our city and quite frankly I think we are all tired of it. Our hearts go out to the Thornton family and all who are affected by this horrific act of violence. Tonight, we strongly encourage everyone to stay home if you do not have to be out. We also strongly encourage everyone to remain calm as we actively perform our investigation. The Memphis Police Department is providing an increased presence in areas of the city that might be directly impacted by this unfortunate incident. We are committed to working with the community to stop these senseless murders. We're also dedicated to bringing those responsible for today's shooting and others to justice. We encourage anyone who has any information about this incident to call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-2274. Let me say that again, 901-528-2274. Seven four, and now I'll take a few questions. Each of the be a curfew put in place. You had at least one city council member and one state representative call for a curfew, fearing that there could be retaliation. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, we're taking all of these um, requests into consideration, and we're continuing to communicate with our city officials and evaluate the situ the situation so that we can make the best decision. And it doesn't mean that we won't have a curfew at some point in time, but right now we think that um, the deployment of our officers in the specific areas that are impacted the most will be enough presence for tonight. And as I said before, we are encouraging everyone to stay in if they don't have to be out. Have you yes. had any incidents or shootings that you might be, you might think are related to what happened today? Well, we have investigations that are going on right now, and the Memphis Police Department, along with our federal partners, will look at every investigation and every um, piece of, of evidence um, to, to try to solve this particular case. We, we can't say for sure that it's associated with anything else at this time. It has to be Well, I haven't vetted all the social media. There, there have been erroneous posts on social media, and what we're trying to do is monitor the facts and ensure that we provide the facts to the public as well. So what we see on social media may not be accurate. Have the city is given a suspect information? I know it happened in the middle of the day. We are still speaking with witnesses. Uh, we do have witnesses that are communicating with the police department right now. Uh, we don't know for sure just yet. We are checking every um, camera, every um, piece of footage that could be in the surrounding area to help us further this investigation. You mentioned increased police presence at yes. areas of concern. Club Creve, Yogati's Club, is that an area of concern? Is it open? Is there extra security from MPD on that? Street? Don't know if, the, if, if that particular location is open, but any uh, location that might be affiliated with anyone that has a connection or we think could potentially have a connection our officers are providing presence and that is including the area where the shooting took place as well can't say that right now what can you tell us behind the motivation of the shooting just don't know um, this this was um, a shooting that um, occurred at a, a cookie shop and we're just not sure what that motivation uh, was, and it's a little bit too early for us to, to tell. Last question. Do you know if he was inside the business or outside, if he was buying cookies, visiting? Uh, there's talks that he had just delivered some turkey during a charity. Can you just talk about what you know about his movements at that time? At, uh, today, um, the victim was inside the business, and we can't say that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Can I ask one final mm -hmm. question? As a crime Thank form you. chief, you talked about interveners. 
intervening in case there is a fear of retaliation among gang members and different gangs in Memphis. Please subscribe so you don't miss a goddamn thing. Let's go.